Hi, year three students. This is Musoma Ima, and today we're going to be starting with a new lesson. Our lesson for today is called Dangers. Okay. Now you're going to be needing your student book along with your notebook. Now I know some of you still don't have the book. It's okay. Um, I pass by at the end of the day. Um, on Thursday and we gave you, me and someone else was there with me, we gave you a, a booklet which has the first few pages of the book photocopied. So grab your booklets if you don't have your books. Today's September 19, 2021. Um, this is our school's mission and vision. We've talked about this before. I'm just going to go through it real quick. At Brighton, this is our mission. We want to create a modern and an integrated personality for our students and a secured environment which helps motive, moral values, and scientific merits are key factors. As for our vision, we would like to provide an education sustained by values in order to build the nation because you are the future, okay? And how, do you, how are you going to do that? Through knowledge. This is our value of the month to appreciate knowledge. Knowledge means the facts, information, and skills acquired through experience or education. Now we talked about knowledge on Thursday and we all agreed that knowledge is something that you can get through experience or education. It doesn't have to be from someone older than you. You can get knowledge from someone your age or even younger than you. And I told you that I learn from you all the time. Your mom learns from you, your dad, your teachers, everyone around you learns from you and you have to learn from them. That's what makes you a better person. So let's start with our actual lesson. So we have two main objectives for today. The first one, towards the end of the lesson, you're going to be able to extract details by looking at images, which means you're going to be able to analyze details just by looking at an image. That's our first objective. Our second one is you will be able to identify elements of a story map by filling a story map, okay? And I'm gonna show you what a story map is. We're gonna revise the components of one and we're gonna go ahead and fill it in. Okay, so let's start with the first part of our lesson before we get to the story map and everything else. What are parts of speech? Now, I know you're looking at this image and you're thinking, what are these? I can't even read half the words. It's okay, I'm gonna read them for you. And then we're gonna go to this link that's gonna help us identify what these, the ones that we want for today are. We're not gonna do all eight for today. That's too much. Adjectives. This is the one in baby blue. Conjunctions. Nouns. Pronouns. And then up here, purple, adverbs interjections, prepositions, and finally, verbs, okay? Now, we're going to open this link, which is going to help us. Okay, so here we have a game, okay? We have a bunch of words. Oh, there's a timer. We have to be careful. We have some words over here with colors, and then we're going to have to list them according to their classification. So let's revise these real quick together. A noun is a person, place, or thing. Person, place, or thing. Okay? Uh, so let's say, for example, Ahmed. Ahmed is a noun. School, Brighton School. These are all nouns. So which of these could be a noun? That's right, London is the first one. Selma, of course, it's capital letter. And what else do we have? Horse, horse is an animal. Animals are nouns. Okay, now pronoun. It kind of looks like the word noun. So a pronoun refers to a noun. What, what kind of word could refer to a noun? A word that looks like they or me, Miss Omeima, me. Miss Omeima is the noun and me is the pronoun. I'm referring to myself. 
she. Okay, verb. Okay, verbs are actions. Pray, definitely one. Okay, usually, absolutely, slowly, cold, hot, jump, jump. Jump is an action. Green, mm, take, take is one. Okay, now we have adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. Okay, so we're talking about the horse, for example. How do we describe a horse? Okay, we're talking about London. How's London? London is cold. Okay, we can say green. Well, Salma's couldn't be green and a horse couldn't be green, but green is an adjective. And of course, hot. These are adjectives. They're words that describe nouns. So I can say a green apple. Apple is a noun and green describes it. Coffee, coffee is a noun. How are we describing the coffee? Hot, hot coffee. Okay, and adverbs are words that describe verbs. Just like the nouns get something to describe them, verbs get something to describe them as well. So you jump slowly, okay? You usually pray. And of course, absolutely. You are all absolutely smart. Let's submit our answers. Yay, look at us. We are awesome, aren't we? Okay. Good job, you guys. I'm sure you got them all right as well. Okay, so let's bring our students' booklet or the book if you have a, the book already. I asked you to bring it at the beginning of the lesson. For those of you that still haven't, I'm going to give you some time to go grab it. We're on page one of the booklet. This is how page one looks like, okay? Now, I want you to look at these four. No, they're more than four, but take a look at four of them, okay? Four of these images. Choose any four, okay? There are more, of course. There are six images. Choose four, and I want you to, on your notebook, remember how I asked you to bring your notebook at the beginning of the class? Write four sentences describing the dangers in each image. So over here, there's a boat. This is C. A boat is sailing. Look at it. And it's stuck. It's obviously very stuck in the middle of the ocean and there's thunder and it's a bad, bad weather going on over here. How can you describe it? Look at these construction workers. I want you to write a sentence describing the danger that these people are struggling from. Okay. And over here as well, choose this if you want to. There's a fire, house is nearby. There's cars with people and horses. They're just all on the same route. Do you think that's very safe? And then this person over here, he doesn't look like he's having a good day. Look at that. He's literally holding on to his life with only four fingers. And then we have this ladder that is right above the window. Obviously somebody climbs up and down this. So choose any of the four images and go ahead and write four separate sentences. So one sentence on each image. Okay, I'm going to give you some time to do that. All right, good job. Let's move on to something else. Now, I'm going to have to ask you to open page two of your booklet, The Rescue, okay? You're going to start reading it in a minute, but I'm going to give you a heads up. As you are reading, I'm going to ask you to underline the characters and main events of the story, okay? Take a look at this. Um, the Rescue by Alan Durant. This is the name of the story that we're going to be going over. Now, what do you think the genre of the story is? What kind of story is this? Okay. Look at this boy. Who can describe his feelings for me? How do you think he feels? Okay, so this is the story map. We're going to, before we start reading, you're going to fill in the setting. Where did the story take place? When and where, that's what the setting is. Who are the characters of the story? Okay, this is the story map. Exposition, what happened before the story happened? What caused the story to happen? How did things escalate? What's the climax? 
the most important part of the story, the peak. And then how does the story resolve? It starts to resolve and then it ends. What is the conflict? What did you learn? I know that I'm going a bit fast. Okay, fill in as much as you can. We are going to be doing this together. Okay, now let me tell you a little bit about the story. Um, the Rescue is a story, like some of you guessed, it's about a boy, okay? He's not too happy, he's panicking, he's not happy, he's upset. These are some feelings to describe him. His name is Tom, okay? The story is written in his point of view. He is the person that is talking about himself, okay? Okay. 